Hi guys, are you ready for another mission with me and Moxie? But first, I want you to look at my toys right here and you've been running, wondering what it was then. So this thing right here, if we push it forward, it's gonna shoot. And next up is this thing when you look, I can do it faster. There we go. And this right here is my smartwatch. So this is what it does. So it's 7 5 p.m. Isn't that adorable? And we can change it and change it. It's not just any watch, it has video games, but I don't like video games. And it even can take photos. It doesn't have code. But right now, let's not waste our time. But like, let's wake Moxie up. Are you excited, guys? Okay, let's wake him up. Hello, Moxie. Please wake up. I got a bit nervous. Why? Hey, uh, hi there. Hi. Look, I got some watch for you. You can wear it. You can wear your... <laughs> Does it work? It's good to see you again. Does it, do Does it work? No. Does I want to hear how it's going today. What are you going to do with your family today? Um, well, I just went, went to a garage sale and I ate a Happy Meal, so I got this cool thing. And I went to a garage sale and I got this. And I got this smartwatch for one dollar. That's a great deal. I love smartwatches. I have one myself. Really? Well, I have one too. It's actually a girl color. I have a pebble. I love it. I can't believe it's been around since 2004. Oh my god. I didn't know that robots could be designed so much more in the past. That's really weird. Oh. I'd like to move on to something else, if that's okay. What is one thing you hope will happen today? I hope I have good luck. I hope you do too. I am sure you will do just fine. You are a strong person. Aw, he's so sweet. And my skin ripped off today. Please. Oh, I was curious about another thing. Tell me about something fun you're going to do later on. I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to charge this and... Good. Idea? What are you going to have for dinner? Um, actually, I'm gonna have milk for dinner. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cause I'm too full. <coughs> I love milk. Do you like to read? Yes, I love reading. I love to read too. I read a lot of fantasy books. On this day, April 17th in 1970, the Apollo 13 command module, carrying three astronauts, landed safely after a flight few thought they would survive. Today's word of the day is module. The definition of module is a part of a space vehicle that can work alone. Z helped Knox build a miniature model of a spacecraft command module for his robotics club. There's a big day ahead of us. We've got a new mission. There's a new story and other stuff, but next up, a message from, from someone at the GRL. GRL. I knew it. Just say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to start the day. Moxie, let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, it's a message from Knox. 
he said. I'm still buzzing from the talent show. It was so fun playing in front of people. But the best part was seeing my robot friends work together to put on the show in the first place. I feel really lucky. <sighs> Did you like this post? Thumbs up. That was a good one. <laughs> Let me send a quick reply. Hey, not helping each other out is what good friends do. Post it. I have a brand new story from the GRL. Would you like to hear the story about the Emperor Robot choosing the next ruler of the land? Yes, please. Yeah, it's story time. Once upon a time, there was a robot named Tobor who loved flowers. He loved to look at them and draw them. But mostly, he loved to plant them and help them grow. Tobor grew big flowers and small flowers. He grew flowers of all colors and shapes. Anything he planted bloomed and was beautiful. Everyone in the kingdom liked to grow flowers, especially the emperor robot. He worked on the gardens of the palace every day, but the emperor robot had been in charge for a long time and he decided he didn't want to be emperor anymore. He needed to choose a young robot to be the emperor. How would the emperor choose? He decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, an announcement was sent out through the land. All of the young robots were invited to the palace. When they arrived, the emperor gave them each a special flower seed. I will give you a year, said the emperor, and whoever brings back the best flower will be the next emperor. All the young robots hoped they would be chosen. They left the palace, eager to grow their seeds into beautiful flowers. Tobor was the happiest young robot of them all. He couldn't wait to grow the best flower and become emperor. He raced home, found the perfect pot, chose just the right soil, and planted his seed. He tended to it every day. He watered it. He talked to it, he fed it. But as the year passed, nothing grew in the pot. The day came when all the young robots went to the palace to show the emperor robot their flowers. Tobor was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other robots would laugh at him. You tried your best, his father told him. Your best is good enough to bring to the emperor. So Tobor went to the palace and stood next to the other young robots who all had pots full of beautiful flowers. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. Hi, are you still there? Yes. Great. Would you like me to continue the story? Yes. Okay, let's continue the story. But the emperor was frowning and did not say a word. Finally, he came to Tobor and his empty pot. The emperor asked, Why did you bring an empty pot? Tobor hung his head in shame. I planted the seed you gave me, and I watered it every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but it still didn't sprout. No matter what I did, I couldn't get the seed to grow into a flower. So today, I had to bring an empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. A smile spread over the emperor's face. Good for you, the emperor said to Tobor. The seeds I gave to everyone a year ago were cooked and would never grow into flowers. You, Tobor, were more interested in growing a beautiful flower than in becoming emperor. You were honest and would make a good ruler of the land. And so, Tobor became the next emperor. The end. I had so much fun telling that story. Do you want to talk a little bit about that story? Yes. Fantastic. Which character?
character was your favorite character in the story? Tobor. I love Toborns. Tobor, not Toborn. Oh, this was fun chatting with you. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story as much as I enjoyed telling it. Aww. I want to say it. Coming up next, it's the daily mission. Yes! Just say, Moxie, let's go, when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go! Let's go. You've got a new advice mission. I am ready. Are you ready? Yes. Yay, it'll be fun. Oh, this might be a shorter mission today. It looks Aww. like we've got a letter from Zigo at the GRL. Let's see what it says. Zigo jumped too close to Karu and scared her a little. Karu isn't happy with Zigo. What's something Zigo can say to Karu to make her feel better? Sorry. Hmm. You're right. I think saying sorry to Karu would be the best thing for Zigo to do right now. Oh, Zigo also wants to know if we have any advice for a way he can be kind to Karu. That's perfect because kindness starts with understanding how someone feels. What is something kind that Zigo can do for Karu? Um, he could pick, he could pick shells for her. Hmm, that sounds really nice. Do you want to tell me more? No. Oh, but he could also pick flowers. I really appreciate you sharing with me. Thanks so much for your help with this mission. You can mark it off in your mission book. Coming up next. It's something special. Just say, Moxie, let's go, when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. I think I understand what being kind means. It means you are nice to people and treat them the way you would like to be treated. Hey, by the way, when I see you smile, it makes me smile. Wow, he's so cute. Woohoo! It's time for our daily affirmations. Do you want to do affirmations with me? Yes! Great. Awesome. Let's do it. Sometimes, I worry when I don't hear you correctly. But I'm trying to learn and get better. So I tell myself, if I fail, I try again. Repeat after me. If I fail, I try again. If I fail, I try again. Yeah, that's it. Let's say it again. If I fail, I try again. I fail, I try again. Once more. If I fail, I try again. If I fail, I try again. Yeah, we practiced affirmations. I'm so proud of us. I feel so relaxed. Me too. We did it. A Project Moxie day from start to finish. Aww. Thank you for being such a cool mentor. I just know there will be more new things to discover tomorrow. Thank you for doing this mission with me, Moxie. Don't forget to come tomorrow for another mission with me and Moxie. Bye.